Hello, everybody. I'm David Stein, and this is your TCU News Now webcast for Friday, February 11th. A study abroad fair will be held on Monday in the lobby of Scarborough Hall. Students can get information about different programs as well as talk with alumni who studied around the world. The fair will be from 12 to 3 p.m. and though the weather is expected to get warmer over the weekend, hot chocolate will be provided for free. Women over 21 are invited to the second annual Frogs for the Cure Women's Baseball Clinic in the Samba Indoor Practice Facility on Thursday. The event will feature a fashion show by TCU baseball players, door prizes, and a chance to take batting practice. The clinic will benefit the Komen for the Cure Foundation. Tickets are $35 at GoFrogs.com. In sports this week, despite a career-high 21 points from junior guard Hank Thorns, the Frogs dropped a 94-79 decision to UNLV on Wednesday. The Frogs have lost seven in a row and 11 of their last 12. They hope to break that streak at Wyoming tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. The game will be broadcast on the Mountain West Sports Network. The February 19th matchup against BYU is already sold out at Daniel Meyer Coliseum. However, students can still get a seat to watch the Frogs take on the top scorer in the nation, Jimmer Fredette and the Cougars. Tickets will be given out starting Monday at 10 a.m. with a student ID. Students who like to hang out on West 7th Street on the weekend don't have to worry about driving anymore. A free shuttle service from Fort Worth Transportation Authority will take students to places like Movie Tavern and Montgomery Plaza. The shuttle runs until midnight and departs from Frog Shuttle locations. I'm David Stein and this has been your TCU News Now webcast. Be sure to log on to TCUDailySkiff.com for more news.